Welcome to our next tutorial quick surface. Let's say we make a 2D sketch and we just get a one single section here, which we probably will use for extrusion or draft extrusion, and then we create our sketch. There is a fast way to create um, primitives here, lines and arcs, and this is by fitting through the selection of points. The easiest way to do this is by holding your shift key and while you hold it you just paint on the screen. What it will do, it will select the points under of your painted area and will make a best fit of the selected points and automatically will create a, your re desired results. In this case, the selection looks more like a line so the software automatically makes it a line. If we focus on this area, holding shift, I can just paint and it automatically will create an arc. In some cases, when you select an area, the software may decide that this is an arc, but if you want to make it a circle, you just click on the arc and you get a shortcut which offers you to convert to circle. So you can convert quickly this to a circle. I will just delete this and we'll focus on something else. In this case here, we may want to create a best fit arc through these points here. Using the shift key is not going to help us because we cannot mark correctly all the points that I need. So for this we have another mode which is called um, fit primitives mode and you it's the first icon on the left and you enter in this mode. What is the difference here is that you can paint on the screen and it will mark the points underneath, but the actual fitting will not happen until you explicitly request this. So you just paint on the screen and you mark your areas of interest. If you mark more than needed, you can do the same painting, but while holding the Alt key, to remove the selected point. You can zoom here, press the Alt key, and then when you are happy with your selection, then you click on the Fit Line button, or you can right click and select Fit Line. The same way you can select this area, right click and Fit Line. How this will help us in this case is that I will just mark these areas here, which I'm sure they belong to this uh, arc. You may select all of them or just uh, most of them that will define your points for best fit of a, of a circle. Here I can hold the Alt key and will paint to remove this selection. And then when you have enough points, you can right click and fit arc or a circle. In this case, I probably want to fit a circle. I will cancel this example and I load another example where we have another section here. When we create a 2D sketch, I will just delete everything and start from scratch. Delete. I can create a 2D sketch here, which is for revolved surface, which means it will use the uh, Z-axis for revolve. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use the Auto Sketcher. In this current version, the Auto Sketcher is the most suitable if you have only a single section. It still will work with the multiple sections, but it will extract uh, different lines and not working correctly so this function again works only if you have one single profile like this one when i get my profile i just press create so now in order to use the auto sketcher we just press this button here in our navigation dialog what happens is that um, the software automatically selects based on the curvature the areas which will be fit the red 
selection means that this will be fit with the line and uh, while it's white in between will be fit with an arc. If we have some gaps in the object because of not scanning properly or any other reasons here, for example, we may not connect them. So if we want to control how this uh, link, this is not a good example because we have a single profile here properly extracted. But if you want them to be connected, the reference points, you can use this option here just to join them and logically to continue all the selection here. Normally I leave this to one, which is good enough, but depending on your project, you can play with this value. The other option which you can play with is just by using the slider, how this segmentation will work. If it's loose, as you see, it um, doesn't select the lines properly. Or if you play more, you can just uh, see what uh, the selection will look like. There is another slider here, which is for the data noise. Depending on your um, scanner, you may get different noise. So you can play with this slider. Also, at the moment, it works quite well if it's just on the mid position. When you are roughly nearly happy with what you see on the screen, just press preview. What the software does, it automatically fits the lines and arcs and, and the best the thing is that it actually makes a best fit here and it extracts your arcs in the best way. The software does this wherever it's possible. For example, here it doesn't know what to do, so it cannot connect this properly. So you, you just leave this as a gap. But also here it doesn't know how to fit the proper tangent um, arc. So what you can do here is that's why the cursor is like a hand. You can actually paint. By painting, you tell the software that explicitly this is a line. So whatever you do with the slider, it just stays pre-selected and it assumes there's a line. You can always reset. When you press reset, everything is removed, so you can start again. In this case, I can probably just paint here because I see this is a line. I can select a couple of points here, so to define that this is a line here. And I can let the algorithm build the rest. The same approach I can apply here, as you see. It assumed that this is a the, uh, arc and it connected them, but this is not correct. So what I'll do, I just paint. If I want to remove some of the selection, for example, I, I paint it wrongly, I can hold Alt, sheet, Alt key and just paint on top of my red points. And in such a way, I can define this. For example, here I can paint. I can select more points to define these my lines. And then when I say trace preview, everything will be fit. And as you see, we don't have enough points here to reconstruct and we can leave it as it is. So when you are happy with this, you can press accept. And then later you can use our tangent arc tool here to improve and build your desired results. Also here, you can also probably create another line, small line here. And then you can use the tangent arc to connect them in a correct way. Clicking and providing the results. Another option is sometimes I will just uh, use the modify mode, will drag the rectangle to select everything and press delete key. Another option is that for some applications, this is uh, maybe a free form and it, uh, you cannot reconstruct with line and arcs, and the software offers you to interpolate all the points with the freeform curves. When you activate the splines mode, the software approximates this, but this is a single curve. There are two ways to control the quality of this curve. One is by tolerance. The software just reduces the amount of points. As you see, it leaves more points on the um, roundings and less points on the lines. And you can play with this tolerance for example 0 0.1 and then you press preview or you can tighten your tolerance to 20 microns and you can see different results. 
the other option is you actually force the software to build the supply with a fixed number of points. For example, here I can put it 20 or 100. When you're happy with the results, you press accept and then you get this into the main mode as a, another curve where, which you can join and we can make a tangent and using the handles you can just adjust the position and the quality of your results. I hope this is good enough and thank you for watching.